So, working with Dodger on the Dognition uh, tests. This one I'm going to put Treat down on each side, and I'm going to point to one or the other when, I re when she releases him. And I'm going to see if Dodger goes to the one I point at, or if he just goes to a treat. Dodger? Okay. So he didn't choose didn't choose the one that I pointed to, right? Okay, so we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna point the treat to the left. Roger. Okay. Daddy. Once again, Dodger did not go to the side that I pointed to. Go. Back up. Back up. Good boy. Same same thing. I'm gonna point to the left, the one on my right. Dodger. Okay. That time he did. Back up. Back up. Good boy. So I'm going to do on the left now. Roger. Okay. So I have to make my working with one dog fun for both dogs, so I have all, all my dogs. Uh, so I have to treat them for being in there. Uh, work again, pointing at the right. Dodger. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the thing about dog mission is just you're just figuring out. We're not training at all. We're figuring out the aspects of Dodger, what makes Dodger him. Usually, when I worked with him before on uh, eye contact, he didn't break eye contact with me very easily. We're very bonded in that way. But now this is another test to see if he actually looks to me for um, to decide or give him information considering a situation. So if I point and he follows me, then we're bonded in that way. So now we're going to do foot pointing. Okay, so I'm going to place the ground on either side at arm's length. I'm going to take, take a small step two feet in the indicated direction, whichever they say, but then I'm going to extend my leg, pointing with your toe toward the treat you stepped away from, and I'm going to look at it. Uh, when Dodger gets released, we're going to see if he goes to the one I'm by or the one I'm pointing at with my foot. Back up. Good boy. Okay, so I'm going to step to my right.
right and then point to the left tree with my left foot. So, Roger? Okay. So he actually went to the one that I pointed at with my foot this time. Rufio, you were outside. So what I think this shows me, something I know, is that I I cue him a lot. If I if I if I drop a treat on the ground, I do that. So we have a bond there. We've worked with that. Uh, I don't point a whole lot with him. Um, but I said this is all just science. It's just it's not a, trying to figure out why he's doing it. It's just what he does. Okay, last one. Okay, uh, we didn't go for that one. results, more collaborative than self-reliant, Dodger Roo's performance was highly collaborative, you probably noticed that Dodger Roo can read you like a book, maybe he seems to know where you are going before you do, maybe he can tell where to find a lost ball just by you glancing in the right direction. However this talent expresses itself, you can be sure that Dodger Roo pays close attention to your gestures and what you're trying to communicate. Dodger Roo is remarkably like a human infant who starts who start reading communicative gestures at around nine months old. This ability is the foundation for all forms of culture and communication, including language. Yeah. Pretty much what I learned, you know, know about him is that, you know, he, uh, we work well together. Okay, so this next game is called Watching, which is the cunning uh, how safe is that unintended hamburger from Dodger Ramiro? Being truly sneaky requires some knowledge of when you can and cannot be seen. Some dogs know when they cannot be seen, while others don't really pay attention to your ability to see them. First game will prepare you and Dodger Roo for the following cutting game, as well as establish a baseline for Dodger Ramiro's normal behavior. So, we'll, we'll start with this one. Okay, we'll establish a baseline. This is not an obedience test. Stand back two feet from the center note where I am. Beer is holding Dodger where he is. Say, Dodger Ray Rue, no, twice, clearly and em empathetically, 
Emphatically, while placing a treat on the ground in front of you at arm's length, Dodgeroo knows a specific command like leave it, use that instead. So that's what I'll use. Um, so she's going to, I'm going to say leave it, and she's going to let him go. But there will be a timer, and we'll see how long it takes for him to come get the treat, if at all. Okay? So I'll give the phone back over to Vera. Or, no, I can do it myself. So, as soon as she lets go, so I'll, I'll say, Dodger, leave it. Put the treat down. When I stand back up, Vera will let go of Dodger. And we'll count how long until he comes and gets the treat. So, yeah, I will give that to her. Because I don't want any movement on my end. I just have to be, be silent and quiet. Dodger, leave it. So, not very good at that one. <laughs> That's a behavior that I don't set up very often. So what does it say? Four time. Okay, so <laughs> this time Dodger will I'll turn my back. So this might not go very well because they're gonna just come right at it right away, because of the games we just played, where I you know, she lets go and he comes and gets the treats, so um, so do the same thing, I'm going to put it down, say leave it, and then see if he responds. And so you just have to, like, don't push him, just let go, like gently. Okay, um, so. Timer again. Dodger. Leave it. Leave it. Doesn't care. Uh, let me see. Back up. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to try to say no. Not, not one I usually use for him, but... Dodger, no. No. Cover my eyes. Back up. Back up. Now, I don't know if this has to do with. I mean, we don't usually do training in the living in the kitchen. Um, he usually never gets any treats for being in the kitchen, so this is kind of a weird setup for him. Um, I think I should probably try it. Um, in the living room sometime to see how that works. But just for now, this is what we're doing. So, Roger, leave it. Leave it. Okay, record it. Let's just do these extra things. Okay, Roger, back up. Roger. Back up. Back up. Leave it. Leave it. All right. Well, we're going to have to pause for a while. My other dogs are barking outside, so.